good afternoon, or good evening, depending upon when you are watching this. I'm going to try to send this lesson directly to Dojo. If that doesn't work, I'll put it on YouTube and send you the link. That should work fine. We're all trying to figure out how this is going to work, and I'm no different than anybody else in that way. Um, let's start today with clapping and counting. Quarter notes, quarter notes and quarter rests, okay? So, here... If you can see this, okay, maybe, maybe you can. I might have to turn this a little. Okay, there. So quarter note is a note head, this here, that's filled in, this little circle that's filled in, and then a stem. That's a quarter note. Each quarter note gets one beat here, okay? The measure, which is this four beats, is divided by a vertical line. So each measure is divided by a vertical line, and each measure has four beats, or four quarter notes, or the equivalent of four quarter notes. So like this measure here has four quarter notes, this measure here has three quarter notes and a quarter rest, which still equals to four beats. I know you can't see me, but I'll do the best I can. Okay, so we're gonna count and clap, and you can clap out loud with me, and count out loud with me, okay? So let's try this, uh, the first measure, Four beats. Ready? One, two, ready, go. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, stop. Very good. I'm sure everybody got that just fine. Make sure you clap and count. Okay. The next measure, you can see, has a quarter rest in it, and that is on count two. What I want you to do for that, I'm going to try to is when we do that one, you're gonna go one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, okay? Let's look at that one, and let's try that one together. One, two, ready, go. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, rest, three, four, one, two, three, four. Okay, good. I don't usually say just to help you out a little bit. Um, I want you to count each beat. So one, two, three, four is what I want you to say. Just don't clap on count two in that measure, okay? Next measure, you have a quarter note, quarter note, quarter rest, quarter note. So you're gonna rest on count three. Are you ready? Here we go. One, two, ready, go. One, The next measure, you rest on count one, and then you clap on two, three, four. Ready? One, two, ready, go. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, stop. Very good. I hope everybody got that and everybody did the exercise along with me. Um, parents. When you have finished this lesson, would you please just say that you finished the lesson, that you watched the video, or something that acknowledges that you did it. Um, no paperwork involved. That's all you have to do today. For this. Next. Um, well, okay. I'm going to say this. I'm not the best visual artist on the planet. So, what happens when you stand under arrest? You are under arrest, and as you can see, he's not happy that he's under arrest. You get it? Oh, oh you can't see it. <laughs> okay, this is going to take some getting used to, but anyway, yeah, he's under arrest. All right, good. I hope you got a chuckle out of that, because that's what it's for. Next, I always bring instruments in, or not always, but quite often I bring instruments in to play for you and to show you. Uh, instruments that you're not always familiar with. In this case, I brought a Appalachian Mountain Dulcimer. Now, last week I sent a diagram of the guitar, the parts of the guitar, and I'm going to just go over the parts of the dulcimer. They are very similar most ways, but in some ways they're not. Okay, like the guitar, you have a, a headstock, and you have tuning pins or tuning pegs. 
you have frets. So these these, uh, these horizontal bars, these metal bars, those are called frets. Unlike the guitar, there is no neck. Okay, it's just a fretboard or a fingerboard. Like on the guitar, there is a fingerboard. Okay, or a fretboard. But there's no neck. You have the body of the guitar or the body of the dulcimer. Okay, this one's shaped like an hourglass. You could have a dulcimer that's shaped like a guitar, or you could have a dulcimer that's shaped like a box, or a triangle, or anything you want it to be. Okay, that's the body. You have the soundboard on the top and the soundboard on the back, and then you have the sound hole. Now remember on the guitar, the sound hole is that round hole in the center. And here, these are the sound holes. They can be anything you want them to be. To me, these, are, these started off looking like jigsaw puzzle pieces. Now I think they look more like ducks, or maybe some kind of a bird, I'm not sure. You can have them as a cross, a heart, a circle, a square, you can have them in any shape that you want to, as long as it opens up the sound box. On the bottom you have the bridge, that's where the string starts, or ends. On the top you have the same where the string starts or stops, that's that fret there. Okay, and then you have something different called the scoop. This little thing that actually scoops down is called a scoop. The other thing that's different about this on you know the regular guitar uh, has six strings whereas this dulcimer only has four and sometimes it can have just three. Okay? The first two strings here are melody strings and they are tuned exactly the same pitch. They're tuned exactly to the same pitch. Those are the melody strings. These other two are drone strings. The melody strings can change. Well, you can change these too, but uh, for our purposes today, we're just going to change the melody strings. So we're going to play the melody. Are you ready? See if I can get this. Oh, you can't see it from there. Let's try this. See if I can lower that. There we go. Okay, so here's the melody strings. And I'm going to play a melody that's quite familiar to you, I think. I should try that again. Okay, you all know the song. Mary had a little lamb. I'm sure you figured that out right away. Now I'm going to play it with the drone strings, though, so that makes it a, a, a bigger sound. Ready? There, okay. How about this song? See what this song, see what you think it is. How many of you think that was Twinkle Twinkle Little Star? Raise your hands. Oh, I can't see you. Um, how many of you think it was Baba Ba Black Sheep? Raise your hands. How many of you think it was the ABC song? Raise your hands. Okay, it could be any one of those three songs. The only thing that changed is the words. The melody is exactly the same. Maybe a little rhythm, but the melody is the same. Okay? Any questions? Well, you can't ask me unless you write it to me questions go ahead and feel free to write back to me that's fine this video is only going to be able to last eight minutes i'm not so sure where we are with it yet it says nine so i'm in trouble here i'm going to have to figure out how to shorten it up so or i'll put it on youtube maybe that's the best way to do it it'll just take a little bit longer to download okay um that's the appalachian mountain dulcimer traditionally i have another instrument over here that might interest you can you guess what this is? It's not a banjo, it's not a violin, it's not a guitar. It is a version of the Appalachian Mountain Dulcimer. It has everything on the dulcimer that the other one did. This does have a neck, though, by the way. You can see that. Uh, there's no difference between the neck and the fingerboard or the fretboard. 
this has a scroll head instead of the other one. And of course the body looks different, but really it plays the same. The only other difference is that the melody strings are on the bottom, so they reverse that so I can play it this way. This is I like this instrument. song for you. You ready? Guess what it is? Any idea? No? with me playing that song for you. Did you guess what it was? Did you guess Baby Shark? Well, yeah, okay. Okay, you guys have a nice day. Let me know if you saw this, and any comments you have, make them constructive. Okay. Bye.